it's hard to say who takes over the sport, but I'm gonna tell you like this. Andre is a very good fighter and will be on my top guys, pound for pound. He'll be around the top area. Terrence Crawford will be around the top area. Um, Ritter with me, uh, Triple G may go in the top area if he fight, if he get an opponent that can really help get him there. Because he haven't had that opponent yet to help get him there. But other than that, he had. But when you stop and just look at boxing, for me, I stop and I see Roman Gonzalez, who might be at the top of the list. Um, and it has the titles to back it up. Um, Andre Ward, who also is very smart and should be around the top of the list, and has skills and titles to back it up. The boy from uh, Crawford, Terrence Crawford, got the skills to beat the people to back it up. Guillermo Rigondeaux got the skills and has beat the people to back it up. On the way to that next one is Vasily Lomachenko. Got the skills, just hadn't had a chance to prove with the people yet. But definitely so you're had right. skill. No, you're right. I've seen him train on sparring. Yeah, he got drops skill. people two weight classes above got, him. Listen, when they was telling, when I was tell, trying to tell him that that night, and he can't say it himself because he don't want to let his guard down and say, "Oh, I think I'm pound pound. I can relax." And he don't want to relax. But for all those other guys, that were talking about he not pound pound one of the best. They they full of it because if they don't think he won the pound pound best, they don't know what pound pound the best is. No, and because they never have been there, maybe they don't know. So maybe I'm taking away from them with something they don't know. Because they don't know what they're really talking about. But that dude is that dude, all right? I don't care. Nobody tell me that dude right there is that dude. What you think about Broner versus Porter? That's a very good fight. I mean, lo I love to see that fight. It's a very good fight for both fighters. If Broner could get close to that list again, he pulls off a couple a couple good wins. Because yeah. uh, a lot of people looking at it as since Maidana gave him problems with that type of style. Sean yeah. Porter has a style that's similar to that. He does, and that's why it would be a very interesting fight for both fighters. You know what I'm saying? Whoever, whoever emerges victorious in that fight would be the next guy to come in and fight maybe a Bruce Trump or Biden call for somebody like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe the next guy to make that noise. Were you surprised when you found out that Vargas didn't have a trainer when you met him? No, I wasn't surprised. He had a trainer, but the trainer had left to go train with David Hayden. So I wasn't surprised though because, like I said, I, I realized whoever was training him, they really want to satisfy my taste because I saw him fight three times in a row and I never could see improvement. So I, I just wanted some improvement. I don't care what it was, just some type of improvement. So maybe that was not a good connection with him and the trainer because if it was, it wasn't enough to where we could, we could see. You, you're a fighter. Sometimes it doesn't translate good. You can't. Some, sometimes it doesn't. A lot of fighters don't. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't. Some trainers. Right. What do you think? What has what, what he shown you that's why you're more than my I must know what the hell I'm talking about because he's doing it. He's doing so it. So I must be all right. Know. Did he look better than his last fight? Yes, I saw him improving in his last fight. I hadn't seen him until then, but I saw him improving in his last fight. So we must be doing something, right? Yes, sir. Definitely. Have you, have you taken him to your home? Man? You no, know, I've been trying to get him to go. He won't go. <laughs> he's scared of stuff. He's scared of snakes. I believe he just don't want to kill me. <laughs> now, he's got roosters. No, he's got roosters. He's scared of snakes. He can learn something from the roosters. He's just scared of snakes. Yeah. You got a lot of snakes over there? Yes, yeah, a lot of snakes there. Are you anacondas? Or like, what do you got? No anaconda. We got moxin, cotton mouth, copperheads, rattlesnakes. What's like Texas? Yeah. Not wow. like Texas. You go and you catch them and all that? I kill them every chance I get because I can't stand them either. <laughs> <laughs> no, not those guys. Close? Close, yeah. Uh, how close? Like what happened? Very close. Once when I was uh, uh, a little kid, I had a lawnmower. I had my hand up on the lawnmower. I, ride, I, I pushed the lawnmower. Yeah. And it was, we was going fog hunting. And it was my day to pick up first and let my friend get the first one. Now, had I cheated and tried to reach out there, I wouldn't be here now. So I picked that lawnmower up, a six foot water moccasin stabbed me in the face. I already killed him. All he had to do was strike. And he ran my chest. No way I would live. Yeah, but then you moved like Roy Joe and with the hands down and. I seen it, yeah, I had to. So, what do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy being a trainer? Do you enjoy fighting? Do you enjoy broadcasting? Well, I enjoy it all because it all pertains to boxing. You know, I'm a guy that loves the sport, so all of it is okay with me. Um, truthfully, what I would love to be doing most is in there because I can depend on myself more than I can depend on anybody else. So, of course, you want to try to do it yourself if you can. At the same time, commentating, I love to, to explain to people because there are people who don't really understand or know the sport that need somebody to break it down and explain to them what's happening, why it's happening, how is it happening, what a person needs to or what a person needs not to do. Uh, and third, but not last on the bottom of the list is training because it gives you opportunity to pass down the things that you've learned and accumulated over the years to the next up and coming guy so that these uh, things are not lost. You understand me? Hey Roy, when, when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, I interviewed Freddie Rose before the fight. I asked him, will, will there be any excuses 
after May 2nd, he said there shouldn't be, the best man should win. Yeah. And of course, we've seen what happened. Um, does that take away, should, should people take away credit from Floyd Mayweather because Manny Pacquiao made this excuse? Nope, nope. Carl Floyd did exactly what he said he was going to do. Just like he said he was going to do it. So how can we take something away from Floyd? He did exactly what he said he was going to do the way he said he was going to do it. Now, if Manny had an issue or a reason why he couldn't do what he was going to do, or what he wanted to do, then that's his issue, because he still came in there like that. But Floyd did exactly what he said he was going to do, exactly how he said he was going to do it. So you can't take nothing away from him for that. Why are some of the fans disappointed? Is it because maybe because some of them wanted paid, Manny to win? They paid or what? for a fight. They thought Manny was going to come in and be able to make Floyd a fight. And they got a good boxing lesson instead. But if you understand boxing, you understand that good boxing lesson. If you're a fight fan, you don't want to see a fight. Man. We hope Pacquiao probably could produce that fight, but he couldn't. And he saved injured, so that would explain why he couldn't produce it. But he couldn't produce the fight that people want to see. They want to see somebody fourth in order to have to fight instead of just box. Mm -hmm. And that's what they paid for. Can Manny do any better though? I mean, I, I, the, he had a problem closing the distance. He couldn't cut off the ring. Ain't my job. I won't train Manny, so it ain't my job to talk about. Right, you you want to train him? No. Yeah. That's all him. You got to train him. A couple years back, you were the king of boxing. Everywhere I go, you were the pound for pound king. How come there's not any fighter that fights like you today? Because I'm sure the whole generation of fighters who watched you, and nobody does it. Why not? Very difficult for one. For two, a lot of coaches hate it because they can't really teach it the proper way so they don't want their guys to do it to discourage them from doing it but I learned a lot of mine from nature a lot of mine came from watching the roosters so it's like God gave me mine don't get mad at me if I use what God gave how to fight gave naturally how to fight and I took that and used it and converted it to boxing skill and you can't do it don't get mad at me but a lot of guys get mad when their kids try what I do and they try to discourage them from it. So, I you know, know Jesse Vargas against the Marco showed a little Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, Did you get nervous and or were you happy? No, I didn't get nervous. I was very happy because if he does that, he does two things. He makes me realize he must be pretty comfortable and yeah. it makes DeMarco say, what the hell is going on? So I was fine with it. He looked good. Right. He looked very Jesse good. Jesse be a rooster. What kind of rooster would it be? What bloodline? <laughs> be a round head. <laughs> right here. Brown head. Brown head. There yeah. you go. Elaborate on, on that. You looking at nature with for movements and well, correlating I'll, it to. I always look at uh, I always look at things. God created natural things that fight. Skunk, skunk fight to his death. Rooster, mm -hmm. they fight to his death. A lion had to catch gazelles to eat to live. Because uh, they have to avoid the lion to live. A pack of dogs have to hunt to live. Everything has to hunt to live. Mm -hmm. But God gave all those things different ways, different techniques to how, as to how to hunt for survival. You take those ways that they hunt and you break them down and transition them into boxing. So there are a lot of things you can do. You can set traps. Like some animals, a lion want to wait and get you lured into their trap and they get you. And they catch you. Or you can become a dude like a Tim Brandon who's like a hyena. He just bring you down. He can do 30 miles an hour for, for them in two days if he got to. So it's different ways that you attack things. You got other things that just blitz stuff. Like a, like, a, like a male lion if he wants to. He gets something in the right place, he's just blessing and overpower. Mm -hmm. But that ain't usually the technique that we take in boxing unless you're Mike Tyson. So Mike Tyson was that type of guy, like a polar bear, he just overpowered and prey. But sometimes we gotta be smarter about how we attack. But God has animals that attack to live. Mm -hmm. And he got different ways that they attack. And because the dogs are smaller, they have to attack in different ways. So the dog, a pack of dogs resembles a pack of punches to me. You gotta be able to keep that pack of amount of punches up for a long period of time. That's mm -hmm. what a pack of dogs does. You understand me? Whereas a lion prior or a cheetah. A cheetah is fast like Roy Jones. He can hunt you down right quick and get you. But if he don't get you right away, you got him because he can't last no 20 minutes like that dog, like that pack of dogs can. Mm -hmm. But what you have to also learn about that is you have to learn what characteristics that your athlete has. And whichever characteristic he has, and that's what you got to relate him to. So if he can get that endurance where he can perform like the dog, then that's the kind of hunter you want him to be. That's what he's going to be best at. If he's so fast, he can be like that cheetah, he can be sharp. And that's a guy, a guy named Derek Wilson, I think his name is. Mm -hmm. He should be a cheetah because he's sharp for four rounds. Yeah. But you got to get him out of there in four rounds. If you don't, you're dead. Because mm -hmm. if a cheetah don't catch it in the first 20 seconds, the cheetah's done. Now he can go way faster than the dog for 20 seconds, but only for 30 seconds. After that, it's over with him. So it's like you said, you're going to be watching some National Geographic together? <laughs> I watch it all the time. I watch it all the time because I love to learn. I've never heard a trainer even, say that. Even with the whales, how the whales chase the killer whale, the killer whale be going, they chase him and chase him and chase him and keep the pressure on him and his mama to get him worn down. Then they kill him and eat him. But they got to wear him down first. So you got to learn. I, I watch these things because I like to learn what God Same taught thing. how to fight. God taught this stuff how to attack or how to survive, so, how to hunt for survival. So you feel Boxing then... Is hunting. 
you feel then uh, Bradley has characteristics of a hyena? Then? He does. Yeah. He does. He go all night long at 60 miles an hour. He don't care. He go all night long. He ain't no, he ain't no lion. He ain't got a lion punch. He ain't got the cheetah speed. Mm. But he got that dead dog pace all just like a hyena. All he can run, run behind you at a slow pace, mm. at a mediocre pace, and push yeah. you all night long. So in nature. Of, uh, honey badger? Yeah. 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 They're pretty tough dudes too. Is, is very tough. Very tough. Very yeah. beautiful thing the way they are, right? Yeah. You ever see any honey badger in? Yeah, I do, because he will fight anything. He don't care. <laughs> he ain't scared of nothing. Hey, Roy, as an amateur or a pro, talking about you, who would you say was the slickest and the hardest puncher you've ever faced? The slickest guy I ever fought probably was James Turner, because James was super slick. The hardest puncher I ever fought was a guy named, was well, between a guy named Mercury Sosa and a guy named, I think it's an Eddie Evans here. Eddie Evans and Mercury Sosa are the hardest two punches I face. I think you and Mercury Sosa had like the closest resemblance from your body. Like, yeah, but that's something gun could punch. So. <laughs> yeah, he could punch. He, he had slow twitch muscles, but that's something gun could punch. He yeah. wasn't fast twitch, but he could punch. You have to keep a straight face when he lands, not to let him know you felt <laughs> well, it. You don't let him hit you. Yeah, he hits you. You don't keep a straight face. He's going to bend your face quickly. You don't want him to. If you try to keep a straight face, he's going to turn it on for you.